Hello everyone, welcome back to my stock channel. Now here we are going to see a next swing advanced component which is a J trick. So before starting the topic, just I request you please subscribe the channel and click on the bell icon so that you will get the notification as soon as I do my next video. Now here I have took the next component which is a J tree. Now how exactly the, what exactly is the J tree or what exactly will be the output? You have used many of this many of the time this J tree. Now here J tree. Just remember what I am telling that the J tree is a hierarchical view of a data. That means whenever you open your PDF at the left side there is the suppose here. Uh, here is somewhat the file. Whenever you click on this, then sub files get appeared or sub topics get appeared. And whenever I click on this, it will again minimize. So there are many more uh, of the files. Whenever you click on this, there will be a sub file. So for creating this, we are using a J tree. That means it will have a parent parent node than the tree trees this parent node the child node for, for creating this here are some of the constructor that we have to use now the first one whose parameter is has stable ht that means whenever you use this j tree that means each element of the hash table ht will be a child node now the next one is object obg array so here the object array of this obg of this element of each element of this array object will be a child node now the next one is a tree node here it will be a root node just remember here for tree node here whenever you use this constructor here it will whatever the you have passed here parameter it will be a child node or the root node okay now the here J tree vector v where have, where we will create a vector v of a J tree. So these are the constructor or the parameters we have we are going to use. So now next we will see regarding the methods and also a steps one by one. So now here we will turn towards its methods. My dear friends, remember it's very important and very interesting while doing the programming of tree because here we are going to create a top tree, then node, then it's the sub tree. So okay. So now here the first method which I drew is tree path get path for location integer x and y. So here you have to pass the coordinate and what exactly is the use of this get path for location method? It is used to translate the mouse click to a particular position that we have passed here. That means x and y coordinates are where the mouse is clicked. So for that purpose this get path for location is used. Now the next one is here you, you see here most of the time or these are only that is default mutable tree node is used to create a tree. So this is the concept of default mutable tree node that we here have to pass the object. Now here what exactly is there? Now here at the top is the tree at the top and here it will have a again a sub tree. Again here we will have another tree and then again here we will have a sub tree. So default multiple tree. So before turning towards this, let me tell that now tree node. Tree node is a class, right? Then the mutable tree node, that means mutable tree node extends tree node. Just remember this. Mutable tree node extends extends one tree node that means at the top there is a tree node then the next one is mutable tree node then what about this default mutable tree node this one default mutable tree node implements just remember what i'm saying implements mutable tree node that means mutable tree node is the interface just remember the hierarchy what at the top is tree node the next one is mutable tree node and the next one is the default mutable tree node which implements that means the mutable tree node is the interface so here you have to pass the object now suppose while creating a tree how exactly you will create here you will create the object of default mutable tree this suppose you have created a okay so now here whatever will be here now suppose here i will took xyz something you have passed your object in double code xyz so here it will be at the top now next one you have to create a multiple 
tree. This define multiple trees object and here you have to pass the object. Suppose you have passed a1, a2, a3 regarding that. So here what exactly you have created the object? a1. And suppose for next one you have created a. That means a dot, sorry, a1 dot and a. That means whatever the next you have created, the object that is a1, a2, a3 will be added here. That means a1, a2, a3. That means you have to create a top three, whatever you have, you wanted to pass here object. And again, using this only reference or this only object which you have created, you should be added to this particular object. Okay, so this is what default mutable tree node. Now the next one is what add mutable tree node that I same I told that using the Add multiple tree node here. You have to pass a method and you have to add. Now the next one is add the mutable tree node child. So here you have to pass the object which you have created of child and it will be added. Okay. Now here is a tree path get part. It will return a particular part. So this was regarding the methods of uh, JTree. So now next we will see the steps one by one how we will create this JTree. So now here we will turn towards the steps for creating a J tree. Just my dear friends, remember as from the advanced swing components, I have started telling you the steps because very important. It can be asked for the MCQs for a particular segment. So here is the step for creating a J tree. Now here, first obviously we have to create the object of J tree. The next, just remember here you have to create the object of J scroll pan. As I told, the J scroll pan is a vertical area which it contains the component and there is a scroll bar, a vertical object as for the requirement you can use. So here we will create a second step of J scroll pan object. Then next we will add the tree which we have created to the scroll pan. And next one is whatever we have created or uh, trees added to the scroll pan. Again, the scroll pan we have to add to a content pan. So this was regarding the J tree. If you have any kind of question regarding the same topic, you can mention in the comment section. And thank you so much for watching this video.